Hello everyone. Oh. Hello everyone. Donna Gray here, your stamping up demonstrator from the Northern Rivers area in New South Wales. I'm trying to get those lights off so I don't look so horrid. That's a little bit better. Turn them back on when we go to craft. How are we all? Um, I'm a little bit early, so I'll allow a bit of time for everybody to jump on. I decided to bring you another live video again today, and I have some wonderful um, ideas. I've got a very simple card and um, two a little bit more complicated, but we should have fun this afternoon. Um, I have an exciting week coming up. At the end of this week, I get to go to Sydney for on stage for Stamping Up. Now, um, as a Stamping Up demonstrator, we get two events a year that um, Stamping Up put on, and it's like a convention for all of us Stamping Up demonstrators. So on stage is actually happening in Sydney, and I'm taking a team member and myself, and we're flying down to Sydney, and um, I actually get to attend Centre Stage this year because I've graduated to a, a silver elite so I get to be taken out for dinner the night before on stage um, and we get a bit of business training happening as a silver elite and above demonstrator so that will be exciting I have no idea what I'm in for but I'm awfully excited hey Deborah thanks for joining hey Priscilla thanks for joining so feel free today to jump on say hello let me know where you're watching from Sorry, I'm just going to get my laptop up here so I can see your comments, what's going on. Um, thank you, Priscilla. Yes, it's been a lot of hard work to get to Silver Elite, but I've done it in just under two years. It'll be two years in July that I've been with Stamping Up, so I think it's a pretty big achievement of mine to do it. But um, I feel like I'm just going to refresh this. I can't see my live video on my business page so I feel like it's been a lot of hard work but um, it's it's an, a wonderful job to be crafting for a living I was actually at um, the markets on the weekend I hope everybody had a lovely Easter we had a lovely four-day break um, and yeah we had um, markets on Easter Sunday so I actually was down at the markets on Sunday and a lady was saying she was looking at all my cards and looking at all the stamping up um, items and she said to me um, do you make these cards yourself and I said yes I do and and she said wow she said you must be busy and I said I actually do it for a living it's my job and I said and um, can't get much better than crafting for a job and she went oh I reckon that sounds awesome and um, yeah so I think we are pretty lucky to be able to do a job that we love um and do it for a living for um for yeah six days actually I think I do it seven days a week somehow the way I feel sometimes but I did take some time off stamping on the weekend and I actually did do a few jobs around the house because it's not often that you get four days in a row so I did some pressure cleaning yesterday we have paths around our place and a big cement driveway so I got out the pressure cleaner and I absolutely got dirty and filthy I had mud from top to bottom. Um, yes, it was good weather here too. We had a little bit of, hey Felicia, thanks for joining. We had a little bit of showers every now and then, but mostly it was sunny most of the weekend. So we were supposed to get torrential rain and it was supposed to be really horrible. Well, that didn't happen. So um, we're awfully lucky. Okay, I've got quite a few of you on at the moment. Um, I'll get the laptop set up so I can see your comments. And we'll get to crafting. Um, can I see them pop up there? I think I can. Okay, so who wants to see a bit of crafting today? Um, hey, Christine, thanks for joining. Hi, Felicia, thanks for joining. Um, okay, so we've had the end of celebration. Celebration has ended on the 31st of March. So today I'm actually using some of the occasions catalogue. I am using... Um, some of the celebration items, I'm sorry. Hey Mandy, thanks for watching. Um, so 
Um, I can't seem to put away the celebration items. That I just don't feel like we had long enough with them. But I have done a little bit of a mixture here today. So, um, and there's one celebration item that I'm using that I will tell you some alternatives as well. So, um, I know it's a little bit sad that our celebration has ended, isn't it, Priscilla? I'm, I'm a bit sad too. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to turn the bright lights on and I'm going to flip you around. And we'll get to crafting. Oh, where's my flip button going there? Okay. So hopefully you can see all that really, really well. I'm just wondering whether I can stabilize the camera. I don't think I can. So look, I'm, I'm really sorry about how my camera wants to focus all the time. I'm, I, I don't know how to stop that. I can do it in normal recorded videos but I can't seem to um hey Rita how you going finally get to see me live that's awesome thank you for watching whereabouts are you watching from Rita are you new to watching me um okay so the first thing I'm going to do is I decided to do this really cute happy birthday card using the perennial birthday stamp set now this stamp set comes with an awesome um perennial birthday kit and you can get to make um, some um, birthday cards and everything and pop them into a box and have them in the months so that when you have birthdays you don't miss people's birthdays you you can you can actually have them in there you can even have them ready to go if you're really really super organized and you know whose birthdays are coming up you could actually have them all ready to go, all already with their names and everything and addressed ready to go. But you pop them in this beautiful box. But the Perennial Birthday Stamp Set is an awesome stamp set as well on its own to actually make some cards with. So I played around and just made this card today um, by using some of the elements out of the stamp set. So, um, Sorry, Deborah. It says looks okay to me. Oh, you're talking about my my camera. It's just every time I put my hands in, it seems to want to refocus all the time and see how it, it sort of goes and comes. But anyway, I've I've had somebody comment about it, and now I'm a little bit paranoid about it. But anyway, if everyone thinks it's okay, then that's okay with me. Okay, so I'm going to start to get to play this. I'm I'm going to do it in a different color combination. I'm using our sweet sugar plum. The reason I'm using our sweet sugar plum, I've got sweet sugar plum ruche ribbon, sweet sugar plum cardstock. It is one of my most favorite colors and it's about to end at the end of our catalog. When our new catalog comes out in June, our sweet sugar plum will be no longer. So I'm doing this as a bit of a celebration because I absolutely love the sweet sugar plum. Yeah, yeah, sorry, Deborah. Yeah, I know, it's my camera. But um, honestly, I don't know how to fix it. So I have tried, I have YouTubed the answer, and I really don't know how to fix it. So, okay, so I'm going to use some of our Smoky Slate as the base. I'm using Sweet Sugar Plum as a layer, and we have Whisper White um, for our front decorative bit. Okay, so the first thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to ink up our Happy Birthday stamp set in our archival black and I'm going to put it aside to dry because this morning when I did my card working out what I was going to do for my live video it smudged and so then I put another one over the top I re-stamped it and put another one over the top and I smudged it as well so I'm actually going to leave it and put it aside to dry so that's the first thing I'm actually going to do so it's done Okay, so just with our black archival black, I've got, this is an inch wide piece of scrap paper. And I'm just going to stamp that down. And then I'm going to pop it aside and let it dry really, really well before I go to put it on the front of my card. Okay. And I'm not overly happy with that. I'm going to turn it over and do it again. Because that was not in the middle of my one inch piece of cardstock. Try again. Get my head into the camera a little bit here further and I'll be right. Yes, this happy birthday. It's it's a lovely big happy birthday, isn't it? Hey, Shirley, thanks for joining. Okay, so I'm now going to pop that aside and let that dry. So we don't have an issue with me smudging it. 
Okay, so now what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to bring in my Whisper White sheet of cardstock. Now I will, um, I'm going to pop, I think I can do this while I'm on. I'm going to pop my blog address in the description up the top of my live video so that um, you can pop on over to my blog. I've actually started blogging every day. So um, there's lots of creations and lots of um, things that you can find over on my blog. So if you're interested in getting a little bit of inspiration and seeing, and I've, I've posted all the latest products that we have in our catalogs at the moment, um, that's what I blog about. So I do a blog post every single day without fail. So if you wanted to pop on over to my blog, now, as you know, everyone that shares my videos and types shared in the comments gets an entry into my monthly draw. Now, my monthly draw this month, I will be drawing this stamp set at the end of the month, the Amazing You stamp set. So for everybody that... Um, that Sorry, I'm just trying to get this, um, my laptop set up here. And I will be back with you and concentrate, no problem. Okay, so I've just popped the link into um, the description up the top. So I have the link to my blog. Um, oh, no. And I was supposed to put the link to my website and somehow I've put my blog post, my blog both times. So obviously I didn't copy that. Let's fix that up and we will be right to go. Okay. That's the one we want to put there. Okay. So I am starting another promotion that... If you go over to my blog and you subscribe to my blog and you leave me a comment um, on, sorry, it was just saying end my video. I have no idea why that was saying that. Um, okay, I'm just going to refresh that and hopefully it will be all up there leave the page lord knows i don't know i'm doing strange things okay so we'll get to stamping so what i'm saying is if you want to go over to my blog subscribe to my blog and leave me a comment and i will give you another entry into the draw so we drew the winner this morning and it was the lovely mandy trainer that um i rita you're watching from melbourne sorry i'm just catching up on all the um all the comments here after i've been trying to do all um the links up the top um Oh, you usually watch me on YouTube. Okay, Rita, I'm I'm on YouTube and I'm on Facebook quite often, so both places. So, um, okay, so the lovely Mandy was the winner of our March monthly draw. So for everybody that shares my video, I pop their entry, their name onto a, a sheet of cardstock into my jar, and at the end of the month, I draw it. Okay, so... What we're going to do is let's get stamping. Enough of my rambling on. We need to get stamping. So I'm actually going to use, I might use sweet sugar plum because I did use pink pirouette on this, but I'm going to use sweet sugar plum on this. Seeing it's a celebration of sweet sugar plum, we may as well. Okay, so what I did was I stamped three of my lovely flowers like so, and then I stamped another lovely flower over that side. Okay, so it's just using, out of the stamp set, there's a lovely single flower, so that's all I was using there. And I'll just clean that stamp off because we need to use the one on the other side. Okay, so then I actually took, there's another little stamp out of this set, which is really, really cute, this little flower here. So I took some Soft Sky and I just inked that stamp up and just popped a few little ones around. And one down that way. Okay. 
And then there is another stamp that has a leaf and, I don't know, some sort of like fluffy, fluffy, bobbly bits. What is the design on the giveaway stamp set, please? Above the barcode. The design on the giveaway stamp set above the barcode. Oh, okay. Sorry, Manda. Mandy, I was thinking, what are you talking about? It's actually like um, a ray of sunshine. So, so um, to say something's amazing, it's like there's this bright light shining out. So it's a bit like, um, can you see? I'll bring that up nice and close and see if you can see. So it's just a bit like um, the bright glow of, of the sunshine. Hey, Amanda. Hey, Jenny. Thanks for joining. Okay, so I've just done that with some soft sky. Now, the little piece that has the little bobbly bits, I'm going to do with crumb cake. Okay, so I'm just going to ink that up with some crumb cake and I'm just going to stamp randomly around. So this is just really creating... Just a bit of a pattern because then um, later on um, I'm going to stamp uh, pop the happy birthday greeting over the top so it's like creating a little bit of a background more or less okay so then we have some cute little green leaves so in pear pizzazz um, you're very welcome, Mandy, for share. Thank you for sharing. Um, you did all the work because you were sharing for me, so that's awesome. Okay, so I'm just going to stamp some leaves randomly around just to add a little bit of greenery happening. Okay, and I think that's enough. Okay, then there's a really, really cute little... Um, dotty image and that was fantastic I did it in crumb cake but I actually just stamped off so the crumb cake wasn't as um little bubbly bits <laughs> yes sorry about my language but yes round circle bubbly bits you never know okay so I'm stamping off so that it creates a lighter look with um this little circle pattern and it's just creating a little bit of background happening so stamping off and I might even pop another one down there okay so there we have a cute little background picture now that was using a couple of stamps really quickly but I think it creates a really nice, effective background for the card. Okay, so now it's just a case of, oh, I'll bring in, I did do an insert piece as well. I'll do that after. I'll bring in the happy birthday now. Hopefully my black has dried that I, oh no, I've smudged it again. You didn't see that smudge. I don't use black archival ink for that reason. I tend to smudge it all the time. I have no idea why, and yet everybody says, use a black archival ink because it dries really well. I don't know what I do wrong, but for some reason, I seem to smudge it. Does anyone else have that smudging problem with our black archival ink? I don't tend to smudge my memento as bad. I have no idea why. Okay, so now I'm just with some liquid Tombow going to pop that up onto my sweet sugar plum layer. Okay, and once again I'm going to do my little ribbon trick where I'm going to pop some fast fuse on the back of my card. This is a brand new fast fuse. What is going on? Nothing wants to work for me today. It's 
Weird. Okay. So I'm just with the Sweet Sugar Plum Ribbon. I'm just going to pop it in my Fast Fuse on that side, wrap it around and pop it back in the Fast Fuse on that side and trim it. Yeah, I don't know, sometimes I think, Deborah, our um, crafting language, but everyone seems to understand it. We're all the same, aren't we? We all seem to talk in the same lingo. Okay, so I'm now going to bring in the inside of my card. I'm still going to pop that and let that dry again, that front. You have to learn to embrace the imperfections. Exactly. It's smudged. We may put a diamante on there. You never know. Okay, so I'm going to stamp the inside of my card. As you can see here, I have done a cute little decoration on the inside. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring those stamps back in. So I use the sweet... I actually use pink pirouette there, so I can't say I use the sweet sugar plum. But anyway, we're going to use sweet sugar plum because that's what we just used. And I'm going to stamp off because I need this a little bit lighter. Okay, so what I did was I did a cluster of three flowers together. Okay. And then I bought in, you'll like this, Deborah, the bit with the bobbly bits again. Um, and I used our... Crumb cake. Sorry, I'm just going to clean this stamp so I can remove it. Now, if you haven't seen this, this is our stamp and scrub. Awesome. We have a wet side, a dry side. We use our stamping mist. It conditions and cleans your stamps perfectly. It is a must-have in our craft room. Honestly, I could not live without my stamp and scrub. Okay, so the bit with the bobbly bits once again. Um, yes, it's so true. No mistakes, only artistic opportunities. Well, I'm going to have an artistic opportunity of trying to cover it up, aren't I? Anyway, and if I don't cover it up, it's handmade. What's the problem? Okay, so a couple of those. And then... The round circle. Oh, I'm going to do the little, the little tiny blue flower first. Okay, and that was in soft sky. I'm going to close up these ink pads before I get it all over me. And actually, on my sentiment in the middle, I did use memento. After I smudged the front bit, I was like, I am not doing that again. And so I got out my memento, and it was fine. Okay, so just a couple of little flowers there. And then with our crumb cake, I got my spots and stamped off and just created some nice little bubbly accents around there. And then... I didn't get my sentiment out. I have no idea why. I actually had in the, the center, here's to celebrating you. So I'm actually going to ink that up in Memento because I am so bad at smudging those. So I'm going to go with my usual, what I normally do. I did go for the basic black archival because I wanted it to look really, really black. You need a cash injection, don't we all, Mandy? I can agree with that. Okay, so there. Okay, here's to celebrating you. What are better, the rubber stamps or the clear stamps? Okay. There is pluses for both, Mandy, and I will explain why. Okay, what we have is, this is what we call our clear mount stamps. They come, they're red rubber, but they are called clear mount stamps. And as you see, on the back of our red rubber stamps, 
you will see we have a spongy back backing. That spongy backing, yes, they all stick to our acrylic blocks nicely, but that spongy backing gives it enough give to give you a really good impression. The only downfall about our clear mounted stamps is that you cannot see through exactly where you're stamping. You have a rough idea, but you cannot see through exactly where you're stamping. When you get clear polymer, which I will show you what clear polymer is, when you get clear polymer stamps, you can actually see through the block and through the image that you're stamping. So you can see exactly where you're stamping. So that is the difference. But the clear polymer stamps, because they don't have the foam backing, you need to use like a stamping um, mat, a foam mat underneath, just to give a little bit more give to um, your stamping. And I'll show you that in the next one when I'm actually using one of those clear mount stamps. <coughs> okay, so that's my insert done. That's the front of the card done all bar the sentiment. So now it's time to pop our card together. So I'm going to bring in my smoky slate base. I'm going to fold it in half. Now this um, will not be on my blog just at the moment. It will be, um, hey Chris, thanks for joining. It will be on my blog in the next couple of days, um, as well as I will upload this live video to my blog as well. Um, okay, so I'm actually going to pop this up on some dimensionals. Sorry, I'm trying to work out um, here. Mandy, you can always ask for gift vouchers from family and friends instead of gifts. Exactly. Ask for some money for some, some craft supplies. Or you know what? My husband says to me, okay, your birthday's coming up. What would you like? What do you need for your crafting now? And you know what? He just knows that that is what I want. So um, yeah, sometimes just a money gift is better because then you can actually, um, yeah, then you can actually um, purchase what you need. Polymers are great for two-step stamping. Exactly, Deborah. And our Stamparatus is also awesome for our two-step stamping technique. Our Stamparatus, if you did not order in the first or the second reservation, you are not able to get it until a new catalogue comes out in June, but they will be available in June for purchase. Okay, so I'm just going to take the backing off those dimensionals now. And I always like to pop my cards up just to give them a bit of dimension. I'm I'm afraid I'm a I'm a dimension girl. I actually like um cards with a bit of pop. I think it just makes it, them a little bit different. Okay, so we have that. I'll pop on some Tombow for the inside layer. Now, if you're wondering why I use Tombow for my inside layer, I like to be able to wiggle it around. When you're using dimensionals or when you're using fast fuse or snail, you have to have one go at putting it down. It's very hard to pull it back up. Where with our Tombow, as you can see, you can maneuver it, you can move it. You've got a couple of seconds to move it where you want it to be. Okay, so the card is starting to come together now. Okay, here we go with my lovely smudged sentiment. Okay, so I'm going to pop that up on dimensionals as well. Who out there that's watching, who has this stamp set? Do you have the perennial birthday kit? I love the kit. I think it's absolutely awesome. Okay, so we're just going to pop that on there. I'm sure I can pop a diamante on there. Now, I should have trimmed that off beforehand, but I'll do it now. It's okay. Okay, so there you have that. Now, I did pretty it up with some diamantes. Hey Tanya, thanks for joining. Not long now until on stage, lovey. We're going to get to see each other again. How awesome. Okay, so I'm going to cover up that big blob there. Oh, look at that. Perfect for a rhinestone, of course. 
Okay, so I tend to do diamantes in threes. They always say it's more pleasing to the eye. I know, I'm so excited too. I can't wait. You have the stamp set but not the kit. The kit is beautiful, Priscilla, and I, I actually got the kit on purpose. So I can be better at sending out birthday cards to everybody. I send thank you cards galore and you name it, but I don't tend to send birthday cards. So I'm a little bit slack. So I thought it might change the way I am because I have a lot of um, clients from my hairdressing, my job. And um, I thought I'm going to surprise them. I've been hairdressing for 30 years and I thought, you know what? I'm going to surprise them. I'm going to send them a birthday card for their birthdays and they will get the shock of their lives. So that's what I'm actually going to do. Deborah, you've got both. Yes. Have you made up all the cards? I have. I think they're awesome. Absolutely awesome. I did a, a live video. Uh, did I do a live video? I might have done a recorded video, but it's up on my YouTube channel of doing the whole kit. And if I had the whole kit, how I would do it. Okay, so now I'm just going to pop a little bit of fast fuse down the bottom here where I want to pop my bow. And on goes my bow. So there you have a cute, quick card using the perennial birthday kit. I think it's an awesome kit and I think there is so much more that we could do with this kit. When do you fit that in? Oh, the hairdressing, Priscilla. I do that a couple of days, but while I'm not, I can tell you, while I don't have clients in, I am crafting. So I actually work from home. I'm a hairdresser and I work from home. So while I'm um, hairdressing, no crafting gets done. But as soon as the hairdressing clients are gone, I'm back in the craft room once again. So that is how I work it all in. And you may wonder how I'm on Facebook all the time and how I get to do all these things that I do, but it's because I work from home. I have the perfect situation for doing all of these things. Sorry, are they too high up? Sorry, there you go. Thank you, Priscilla, for telling me that. I don't know that until someone tells me that, so thank you very much. So what do you think about the cards, girls? Pretty... Okay, so sorry, I'm just cleaning up here as I go so I don't end up in a massive mess. So, and what I do with my stamps, when I'm finished with my stamps, I stick them all on the inside layer of my stamp set. And then I don't lose anything. Oh, the happy birthday is still out. You love the cards? Thank you very much. I'm glad. Um, so that's card number one. I've still got two more cards to play with today. So Lord knows how long this live video is going to go for, but I have a few cards organized for you ladies. What's better than spending the afternoon crafting with me? Okay, so we'll get those ones out of the way and we'll bring in the next one. The next one's a really quick, easy card to make. So let's sit that over there. The next one I'm using, the Picture Perfect Birthday stamp set. I love, love, love this stamp set. I have done so many cards with this stamp set. I actually had to put it away for a while because I started getting a little bit sick of the stamp set because I had used it and used it and used it so much. I think it has so many... Um, different sentiments, so many different elements to it, but I'm just going to make a really, really quick, easy card just with a little pretty background and um, that and that. Okay, so I'm just going to do a really quick background and a really quick stamp sentiment. So I'm using Lemon Lime Twist. I'm also backing um, my Whisper White layer with some basic black and I'm using a Whisper White piece for the front. So what I decided to do, there's a couple of little stamps in here. One is, I always think it's like, um, you know the sprinkles you put on to cakes? Um, you're so slack, had it for ages, but not used it as yet. You haven't used it. Oh, Deborah, you need to get it out. It is beautiful. Okay, 
So I'm just going to do a quick little bit of decoration here. Um, just to play around with some colours and then we're going to stamp a sentiment over the top. Okay, so I'm going to use some different, and this is a similar style to what I just did with the flowers. Okay, so I'm just going to stamp that one. Now that's Lemon Lime Twist that I've used. I'm then going to come in with my Soft Sky. I'm going to stamp off and make sure my stamp is really, really clean with my Soft Sky because I find you get some really weird colours with Soft Sky if you don't clean your stamps off properly. Okay, so I'm randomly stamping those around as well, like so. You think I'll inspire you today? I hope so, Deborah. Okay, so now with my pink, I think I'm going to go through with my pink with the other one that, uh, they're like, I don't know, little triangles. Something like that. I think they're triangles. Anyway, so I'm just randomly stamping and just creating... A little background. I'm going to go back through with some of the other colours too, just to fill in a bit more of the gaps. So lemon lime twist. So I'm just trying to fill in some of the blank bits here. And I'm going to come back through with my soft sky as well. Because I sort of want to create a background that... Um, is fairly solid to then stamp my sentiment over the top. I am winging this one. I had a bit of an idea of how I wanted to do it and I'm just doing it. I think that's enough. You have a few birthday cards to make. Well, this is definitely the stamp set, I think, Deborah, to get those cards made. That is for sure. And I want to thank you all for joining me with my live videos. These have been awesome lately joining me on my live videos. I've been getting more and more people watching me live, which has been fantastic. It gives me so much confidence to know that you want to come and craft with me and chat with me while I'm live. Okay, so this one, I'm actually going to just pop the sentiment, celebrate the good stuff straight over. Now, this is a really, really quick and easy card to make. No fuss, no anything it's just so quick to make i'm going to use black memento ink again because you know i don't like that archival ink i shouldn't be saying that i do like it i just think you need to definitely have a good amount of time for it to dry celebrate the good stuff cute 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 okay I'm just going to clean that up and I'm going to just um, spruce this up with a little bit of um, embellishments and you will see how quick and how easy this card went together. Okay, so I've got some of our really nice mini striped ribbon, the um, lemon lime twist mini striped ribbon. You love my videos, Amanda. Thank you. Okay, so I'm just going to pop that on as usual. Hopefully I'm not going to smudge that black. No, nope, all good. Okay, so I'm just going to pop my ribbon on once again. Pop it in the fast fuse at the back. Wrap it around. Pop it in the fast fuse again. really starting to heat up here this afternoon it's actually quite warm clean up my bench a little bit okay um, and now I'm going to tie a ribbon tie a bow once again for the bow challenge people out there make a loop wrap a loop around twirl your spool over twice so you don't get twisted up 
pull it through. So then when you get it looking the way you want it, shorten your little loops. And then there you go. Bow. Tied. I really enjoy bringing videos to you. I, I, I love crafting and I love sitting here chatting away and crafting with people. So it's actually quite good. Um, I just, I love it when people interact with me. It's awesome. Okay, so just popping a bow on there. Then I'm going to mount that up onto my basic black. with my Tombow. This is a really quick, easy card, Deborah. So if you've got some birthday cards to make, this is the quick, easy way to go. Okay, I've got my Lemon Lime Twist base. I'm gonna fold that in half, score it with my bone folder. Okay, I'm going to pop this up on Dimensionals. I come across very confident, Priscilla. <laughs> you might think differently when you meet me at on stage. I get in amongst all those people and I'm like, oh my God, all these people have been with stepping up for so many years and I get a little bit shy. So I may be confident, but you know what? I'm sitting in my craft room chatting with you ladies. So, um, you know, it's quite easy to be confident when there's not actually a person face to face with me. So, um, I know a lot of, I, I've been doing videos now for a couple of years and um, even my team members, my new team members that I've um, acquired since the beginning, sorry, I'm just going to line this up on my lemon lime twist base now. Even my new team members go, oh my God, you're such a natural at, at doing videos. I can remember when I first did videos, I actually had a friend of mine and I said to her, can you please be honest? I'm going to upload this video, please be honest and tell me what I need to change and how good or how bad it is. Do you know what? She was awesome. She just used to say to me, oh, Donna, you're saying I'm a little bit too much, you know, like, and I was like, oh, okay. Well, then I was like, so trying to not say um too much, but yeah. Do you know what? I am who I am and people either like me or they don't, so... We are aiming to be on the left-hand side near the big shots. Okay, Priscilla, I will try and suss you out. Look, I'm, I'm going to try not to be as shy as I was when I went to April on stage because April on stage was such a huge thing for me. It was the first time I went totally on my own. Um, and so because I was actually on my own, I was feeling really, really a little bit... Um, nervous and a little bit shy but I sat at a table with these lovely ladies so there you go I've just popped three little of our adhesive back sequins onto the front there and that's just created a little bit more fun on the front I will quickly stamp on the inside so that we can have the inside sorry the front coming to the inside I always make sure that I have something that looks like the front on the inside of my card. It's just something I always do. I like to, and I, I always do inserts in my cards. I never, ever not do inserts. And if I'm doing a live video and I haven't done an insert on the live video, I can tell you I will go back and I will, after I've finished doing the live video, I will put the insert in after I finish doing the video because I just cannot leave a card without an insert. Okay, so now I'm just using the pink pirouette. And then I'm just gonna come through with um, the soft sky. And honestly, this is how easy it is to make your inserts match. Yeah, it is clean and elegant, um, Mandy. So true. Like, it's just, I think sometimes we get a little bit caught up with we do too much on our cards. And I think we don't realize that we can stop and we don't have to do as much as what we do. So um, sometimes quick and easy, a lot of people, uh, 
the thing that I think probably convinced me of that is when I go to the markets and I sell my cards, and what I do is I sell my cards that I make on my videos. I just I put them out there and sell them because I have so many cards. And um, it amazes me the ones that are plain and simple are the ones that tend to go first. And the ones that I've spent so much time on, people look at them and say, oh, they're beautiful, but they tend to go for the plain ones. So, um, you know, sometimes I think we overthink our cards. Okay, so there you go. Quick, simple insert. Quick, simple card using our Picture Perfect Birthday card set. Um, Priscilla, if they are cards that I've spent a bit of time on, I sell them for $5. Um, if they are cards that I've had for a fair while, I put $3 on them. But I will not go lower than $3 because as far as I'm concerned, you need to have um, a decent price on your cards. Um, sorry, excuse me for a minute. Um, in the back of my fake case for my phone, it's probably the case for my phone maybe out there on the table, I think. Just see if it's on the dining room table. If not, it may be in here somewhere. I think it's out there. Sorry, that was just, got it? Um, that was just my eldest daughter coming in. She's going to pick up my youngest daughter from school. So, um... Handy, having kids with a license now. I don't have to be the taxi anymore. Okay, so that's our second card. Third card and final card. This card is going to be a little bit more in-depth. Now, when I say a little bit more in-depth, I'm going to put those stamps away before I lose them. Um, this one I'm going to do a little bit of embossing, and I'm going to do... Um, <laughs> you know what you're going to be doing this afternoon. That's awesome. I'm glad I have... Given you some incentive, Deborah, to get your picture perfect birthday stamp set out. That is awesome. Great to hear. Okay, so what I'm actually going to do in this card, I'm going to use this beautiful blossoming basket stamp set. Now, this was our second release in our celebration, and honestly, we did not have anywhere near enough time for this beautiful stamp set. So I decided what I would do is I would do a card like this, but there is some alternatives to what I'm doing, and I will um, explain to you. I've got a scalloped circle out of our um, layering circles, and I've done it on watercolour paper, but you can, and I'm going to stamp the basket, but I've looked in our catalogue, and you can probably, from this hanging garden stamp set, I think you can quite easily do this. I'm just going to move my camera over that way a little bit more so that I'm not getting the edge of my table. Hopefully that is better. I'm going to wait so I can see how it looks in the screen. We need to go that way. There you go. That looks a little bit better. Okay, so I think that this would be a perfect, the hanging garden will be a perfect stamp set. And I also think you could do it with this beautiful Friendships uh, friendships Sweetest Thoughts. I think the little cart, you can probably do it. The problem is with some of the stamps to fit on the circle um, is the hard part. So I'm actually going to bring in the Stamparatus this afternoon. Because I am hopefully going to be able to stamp, because I'm on watercolour paper... I actually want to get this stamped really, really well with my Versamark. So I've got Smoky Slate as my base. I've also got the Sweet Sugar Plum because I love it and because it's going really soon. And I've got some Whisper White for the inside. But what I actually want to do now, this is our Stamparatus. Now our Stamparatus has two magnets that we have to keep right away from each other. So I always pop one up the top and one down below. So I make sure I don't put them anywhere near where they are. We have the base and we also have a foam mat. Now the foam mat is for when we're using our photopolymer stamp sets. As I said Mandy before with the photopolymer stamp set you need a little bit of foam underneath to get a really nice stamped image. I'm going to leave that foam under there even though I'm going to use 
uh, clear mount stamp, which is the red rubber ones. Even though I'm going to be using the red rubber stamp, I'm still going to use the foam mat. If I want to get a definite, beautiful stamped image, I tend to um, use the foam mat anyway. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to, with a pencil, just run around the outside of my scallop here so that if for some reason this scallop moves because I won't have room because of the size of the stamp I won't actually have room to put my magnets on okay so I want that to sit there and make sure that if it moves I can definitely keep it in place and know that it's going to be in the right spot because if I've got a stamp this a couple of times with my Versamark to make sure I get a really good image. I want to make sure that that is definitely not going to move. I will put some magnets on my base so that that doesn't move. Okay, so, and I am going to pop just a pencil line here and here, straight up there, so that I know that's where the center of my, hey Jenna, thanks for joining. Okay, so now what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to line up my basket stamp onto my watercolour paper. I may get this to stamp really well the first time and I may not have to worry about whether it moves. And it may not move, um, but I do that a lot. Okay, I'm going to take my Versamark ink and I was using that one and I'm going to Try my other one because I was using that one. Oh, with doing the blice technique the other day, and it's got a fair bit of black ink on it. Okay, so I'm just inking up with my Versa mark. Yeah, I probably could put some post-it note to stick it down to Mandy. You are right, but there's not a lot of room to play with where I want to stamp the image. That's the whole issue because this image will only just fit on here. Okay. And we're lucky enough that it didn't move. So I'm actually going to stamp it again to make sure that I've got Versamark all over. Okay. And I did say I was going to do clear embossing, but I'm not going to do clear embossing. I'm actually going to do white. So bear with me while I get my white out. So I don't know how long I've been on, ladies. How long have I been on? Oh, not even an hour yet. I'm doing well, doing well. I'm going to try and keep it under an hour and a half. I think I will be able to do that because I think I can make this card in about... 15 minutes or so. I might be just over an hour. Okay, so I've stamped that again with my Versamark. Okay, and you cannot see that, but I have a lovely image with my Versamark. I'm just going to pop that aside. And I'm going to get a scrap piece of paper. And we'll put some... We'll put some white embossing powder onto our image and heat that up. Okay, like so. Yeah, washi tape probably could have done it too. I'm improvising, ladies. I did have an idea of doing this. I haven't done this yet, so this is my first time at... Um, this creation of this card that I decided to do, but anyway. And now my fingernails won't allow me to pick that up. Isn't that awesome? Okay. The beauty of false fingernails. And I didn't... Oh, I didn't um, emboss it, use my embossing buddy first. Tut, tut. Not too bad, though. Not too bad. Okay. Pop that all back into the container. So did you ladies get to do some crafting over the Easter weekend? 
I crafted a little bit, but I did get jobs done. I was madly, madly trying to pressure clean all my cement paths yesterday. I've still got more to do. So, so much more to do. But anyway, that's life. Okay, so I'm going to bring in my heat gun. Hopefully I'm plugged in, yes. Heat it up nicely. Okay. Heat embossing is awesome. Now, if this is the first time you've ever seen heat embossing, what we do is we use our Versamark ink, which is a lovely, sticky, clear watermark ink. Then we pop our embossing powder over the top and then we heat the embossing powder and it melts into our Versamark ink, which is awesome. And you get beautiful, creamy consistency and a lovely raised heat embossed image. You've made some RAK cards. Yes, I've got to do mine yet. I haven't done mine for this month yet, but I'm definitely going to get to that this week, hopefully before on stage happens. If not, I'm going to have to wait until after on stage. So, yeah. Okay, so um, I'll bring that up closer so you can see. I have a lovely, I'm going to try and get it into the light. There you go. Um, lovely white embossed image. Okay, so... Hey Sharon, thanks for joining. I think you're new to my video. Um, thank you for popping on and watching me do some live crafting this afternoon. Okay, so now I'm actually going to get my aqua painter and I'm going to get some colours and I'm just going to colour this um, quite quickly and quite easily. I'm not going to be very particular with how I colour it. Now, with our ink pads, you can squash our ink pads and you get a lovely smudge up the top of our ink pad to be able to colour. So I'm just going to pick that up with my aqua painter and I'm just going to colour along the handle of the basket. And... Um, Sometimes with a paper towel, if it gets too wet, sorry, I'm just going to grab a paper towel here. Actually, no, I'll use one of these. If it gets too wet, you can blot some of the water up. It is watercolour paper, so it will um, soak up the water, but I've got a big blob of water there, way too much. Not happy with that, so I'll dry that off a little bit more. Okay, so I'm just, with the tip... Just getting enough just to add a little bit of colour on the handle. Okay, basket. I'm now going to go crazily over the basket. It is hard to see on this image what is the basket, what is the flowers. But you know what? We're watercolouring. And watercolouring doesn't have to be specific. Okay, but as long as we're getting some colour down there, I think I need to get some more, maybe squash some more ink out. Now, the sad story, I probably would have done this. Hey, Renee, thanks for joining. I probably would have done this with my blends, um, not on embossed, but I probably would have... Um, stamped it and then coloured it with our blends. I'm not going to use the blends because at the moment they're unavailable. So for them to be unavailable, I'm not going to be using them and showing you something that you cannot purchase. So I don't want you to fall in love with the blends when you can't purchase them. They, um, they are just a popular item and because they're so popular, they have um, decided to stop any back order issues they've decided not to have them orderable until the end of may so hopefully by the end of may they will come back so now i'm going to do my flowers with the sweet sugar plum 
So, sorry, I'm going to squish some sweet sugar plum into the top. Okay, so now I'm just going to pick up some of that and do all my flowered image. I am celebrating the sweet sugar plum because this is one of my favorite colors. I can't believe it's going to be gone at the end of the month. But anyway, that is life. Okay. So down through here, we've got another flower. And there's another flower over here. So once I have the base of all my flower covered, I'm then going to go back through and put more colour just in the centre. And then just on the edges of my leaves, just to create a little bit more dimension. And a bit of a variegated bit of color in the center of that one and the outside edges and believe you me I don't color very much I've only just started coloring since the blends came out I've only just started coloring and water coloring I've done a little bit of water coloring but not a lot so as you can see it is um, such a forgiving thing to be able to do because um, the the products that we use just make the job so much easier Deborah Davison, wow, Priscilla, 30. Did you do 30 RAK cards, Priscilla? Oh, card swaps. Okay. Um, can I tell you what I've done, ladies, for my swaps? Well, I won't tell you what I've done for my swaps, but I'll tell you how many I've done. Can anyone guess? Someone guess in the comments. Guess how many swaps I have done. Have a guess. And I'll tell you, someone that is close enough, I will um, give you a little bit of a prize. So how many swaps do you think I may have done? Come on, ladies, don't be shy. I'll give you a clue. Last time I did 50. Last time I did 50, and I can tell you, before 9.30, I had nothing left. So how many do you think I've done this time? Okay, so I'm now just touching up. There's some little tiny little... Once again, Deborah, here comes my, my language again. Bobbly bits on the flowers. Oh, and there's a green bit there I've missed. It's so hard when you've done white embossing trying to see where you need to colour. Okay, I've missed a leaf, so I need to go back through. 125. Uh, let me think of what I've done. I have done 50 of one thing, and I think about 28 of another. So... I think, Amanda, you were closest. I think you guessed 75, didn't you? Yes, Amanda, you were closest. You get to win a card today, so you tell me what card out of everything that I have made today that you would like, and I will pop it in the post for you. I have so much posting to do this week. <clears throat> Yes, I am colouring over the embossing, Mandy, and that is fine because what actually happens is the embossing will repel the colour. And as you will see, you can still see the white embossing, but you can also see that it's coloured. 
So um, it, it is okay to watercolor over the white embossing. If you are using blender pens, no, it's not okay because your blender pens will actually color the white embossing. So it will be very hard to see your white embossing if you decided to use blender pens. But um, as I said, I would not do white embossing if I was going to use a blender pen. <laughs> That's all right. No worries. I have been going for a while, Deborah, so I can understand you might need a loo break. Okay, so now what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to pop this card together. Okay, so I've got Smoky Slate as my base, so I'm just going to fold that in half. That's okay, Mandy. That's the only way you can learn is by all the questions, and I am so happy to answer any questions. I never have an issue with anyone asking me questions. Never. Never, never, never. Okay, I think I'm going to do another base underneath. What do I have? I'm going to do a darker grey base underneath that one. Yes. Yes. Sorry, changing it up a bit here. Okay, I will surprise you, Amanda. No problem whatsoever. Okay, so I'm going to use some fast, uh, uh, sorry, some liquid Tombow to adhere. Now, this piece with the sweet sugar plum, I have used the beautiful basket weave deep textured embossing folder. That embossing folder, I am pleased to tell you, will be carried on. It was a free item in our celebration that went with the stamp set but it will be getting carried on in the new catalog so you will be able to buy this basket weave textured embossing folder so that is a big big plus okay so i'm going to pop this up and i'm also going to pop that up um with my dimensionals i was trying to find where i put the sheet So if you're watching this back later on, it's not too late for you to share my video and type shared to get an entry into my monthly draw. And um, the monthly draw is going to be the Celebrate You stamp set. So it is a lovely, lovely stamp set. I'll bring that back in again. This is the stamp set that I will be drawing at the end of April. Um, Mandy was the lucky winner of my March um monthly draw so mandy you are lucky enough that i'm going to send you out that stamp set the um heartfelt blooms stamp set you will love that stamp set mandy you will absolutely love it i'm telling you okay so i'm now going to oh i forgot one step i'm going to pop my ribbon on so i need some fast fuse we've always got to have a ribbon this fast fuse is brand new and it's not working it's not being my friend so so not bring my friend keeps coming off the roll anyway yeah when i do the tick mark at the end it comes off it's a bit strange okay once again i'm going to use thank you amanda for sharing i'll pop your name in the drawer okay bit of the sweet sugar plum ribbon and yes it's the same color as my lay layer but I love tone on tone, tone, so I don't think that there's an issue with that. Okay. Now I'm going to pop it onto my smoky slate base. Like so. I'm going to grab some more dimensionals because I've just run out of that lot. I'm actually going to use these ones. These ones are out of lots of happy kit also too ladies if you're new to stamping and new to crafting some of our all-inclusive kits are really really great for getting um, getting yourself used to stamping and and playing around with cards and making cards and you get the majority of the kits they make anything from 16 to 20 cards for the kit 
The all-inclusive ones are awesome. They have all the stamps that go with everything, which is fantastic. Now, I'm going to pop a bow on that. So I'll tie a bow again. So once again, a bow. Once you get it how you want it. Shorten those little tails, trim it off. Now, as you can see, because I tie off my reel of ribbon, all I've wasted is that one tiny little bit. So I always think it's worthwhile to, um, to tie ribbons while you've still got it connected. Okay, and a bow there. Okay, so for the inside, I think what I'm actually going to do is, there's a cute, cute little flower in here. Sorry, not a flower, a little butterfly. So I think I'm just going to stamp the butterfly inside, and um, I'm just going to tie it. I'm just going to stamp, you are loved inside. I think that sounds really, really cute. Okay, so I'm just going to get a block, and I'm just going to stamp it in crumb cake. I'm just going to do the butterfly in crumb cake. A couple of little butterflies up there in the corner, and another couple down here. And then I'll stamp the sentiment. I think, seen, it's a celebration for sweet sugar plum. Do you think I should stamp sentiment in sweet sugar plum? I think so. I'm going to be so sad to see this sweet sugar plum go. But we will probably get new colours. So we will wait and see, won't we? I'm just going to stamp that down there. You are loved. And I think I stamped it. Oh no, not too bad. I think it's a nice Mother's Day um, stamp set. Very nice. So true, Mandy. Um, okay, so now I'm going to pop some Tombow on the back. I'm doing well, ladies. I've been on here for an hour and ten minutes, so it is much better than my other one where I was on here for two hours the other day. I had no idea. I just got crazy crafting and had a lovely time. So there you go. You are loved on the inside and on the outside. I, do we think we need some bling? I think we need some bling. So I think I'm going to do a little bit of Wink of Stella on my flowers. Just to add some beautiful glitter and shine. Yeah. Can't beat the wink of Stella. Excuse me. I have someone knocking at my door. I won't be a minute. That was a great interruption, everybody, because look what I just got. It was my postman. Don't we all love these boxes? Yippee! And believe it or not, in those boxes are some blends. I got in early enough and got to order because I do a monthly blends club. So I got in early enough and I got to... um. Order my blends for my lovely blends members for the months of May and June so that we can definitely keep going with our blends club. Okay, so, sorry about that interruption, but it's always handy when the postie comes. Okay, I think some Diamantes we might too. Why not some Diamantes? We need to... 
bling it up a little bit. Okay. Ah, escape Diamante. I always like to use different size Diamantes too. And there. So what do you think, ladies? Very nice. I I love this set. So that's the embossing folder and that's the stamp set. But as I said, you can actually get that um that look by using those other stamp sets as well. Um, so if you missed the stamp sets I was talking about, you would probably be able to do this card with on page 30 of our occasions catalog, the hanging garden, I think would be perfect for this. And you may, you may not, you may just get the little wagon, but the wagon on it would look quite nice as well. And that's out of friendship, sweetest thoughts on page 34. Um, so they are some great alternatives. I'll just bring back in the cards that we've done this afternoon just to refresh your memory of what we have used. And thank you very much for everybody joining and crafting with me. So we've done the beautiful um, blossoming basket. We've done the beautiful um, picture perfect birthday. And we've also done the perennial birthday card. So the one that I actually previously done was done on Old Olive with our beautiful um, Sweet Sugar Plum. And this one I did on our Smoky Slate. So thank you all for watching. Karen, you have just joined and I'm about to jump off. So um, you may enjoy the recording. So thank you for joining me. Everybody, please share if you wish to win the beautiful, amazing you stamp set at the end of the month. Um, please share. And everybody, please go over and check out my blog. As I said, I am blogging every day, so I have put the link up in the description of the video. Feel free to jump over onto my blog, check out my blog, um, subscribe to my blog, and you'll get an email every time I do a blog post. But I am blogging every day. So there's lots of creations over there for you to see as well. So thank you all for joining and for everybody that I'm going to catch up with down at um, on stage. I cannot wait for on stage on Saturday. And yes, Rita, if you know what I look like, I'll actually flip you back around. Hang on. We're, we will let you see what I look like. I won't have a clue what you look like, but I will have glasses on. I do normally wear glasses, but when I'm crafting, I don't wear my glasses because um, for up-close work, I don't know why I have glasses for up-close work, but I take them off while I craft. I feel like I get a better feel of what I'm doing. But if you see me there, please come up and say who you are. Introduce yourself. I would be happy to chat. I love chatting with crafty people. Um, as I said, I may be a little bit shy. I am going with my team member. If there's anyone going to be at um, the center stage dinner, um, you wear red glasses, Rita. <laughs> uh, well, I can't tell by your profile picture because your profile pictures of two puppy dogs. So anyway, I will check out your, um, your Facebook and see if I can see what you look like. I'm sure, Priscilla, I'm going to know you. I've, I've seen you many times, so I think I'm going to know you. Anyone else, please feel free if you if you look at me and think, is this Donna, please come up and ask. Um, I'd be happy to chat. So I cannot wait. Next week we will have some fun, fun, exciting things to share with you after we've been there. Sadly, not Friday night. Never mind, Priscilla, but that's okay. You know, I'm so excited. I actually said to Jessie Holton the other day, I have no idea what we're in for, but we're going to have a good time. And she said, that's so true. So, um, so thank you all for watching today. Please feel free to share my video. As I said, you must type shared in the, um, the comments for me to know that you've shared my video. Um, also, I have monthly club memberships that I'm doing at the moment. So I just want to give you a little bit of news on what I'm doing. I do have my blends club, but unfortunately I can't take any new members at this stage because of the, the situation with the blends. Um, when they come back as audible, I'm quite happy if you wanted to join my blends club, you can join on in. 
Um, it is $58.50 per month for six months, and you end up with the whole blends collection as well as a stamp set, a memento ink pad, storage containers for your blends, absolutely everything. So that is my blends club. You will find that over on my website, which is stampingwithdonnag.com. Um, my club membership is a card and stamp club. Um, it's a monthly club. There's a minimum of three months when you first join, so you must join and participate for three months. After three months, it's month by month. If you wish to carry on, you can keep going. If you stay with me for six months, you get $20 for free at the end of um, six months to spend in my online store. Um, and that will happen every six months if you stay on as a continual um, monthly member. Now, they are designed around a stamp set. You get a class packet that you get six cards, all the cardstock and embellishments to make six cards. You can be a gold member where you actually purchase the stamp set as well as the card kit. Or you can be a silver member if you already have the card kit. You can actually just purchase, sorry, if you already have the stamp set, you can purchase the card kit alone, which is a silver membership. Um, so that's okay. If you're a demonstrator, you're quite happy to join. And I will do a video each month with the stamp set. So the stamp set that I'm concentrating on this month for April is the Picture Perfect Birthday stamp set. Um, now, if you still wanted to join for this month, um, I can take membership joining for the next couple of days, but um, I, I can only leave that open for two days. But you can join in for next month, and I will choose a stamp set every month, and that's the stamp set that you will purchase, and I will design six cards for you and do a video tutorial showing you how to do those six cards. So if you're interested, jump on over to my Stamping with Donna G website and look under the member clubs, and you will see that. Um, and I look forward to crafting with you again. So until next time, have a lovely day, and I hope you enjoyed my crafting session today. Amanda, I will pop, pick one of these cards and pop it out in the post for you. And thank you all for watching, and until next time, happy crafting. Bye for now.